How to deal with criticism. Naturally, when you start on this journey of personal development, when you start perhaps working on yourself a little bit more than other people, when you decide that you're worth it, and that this is what you're going to do, that you want more for yourself than what society thinks you deserve, when you gain the courage to say fuck you to the dream, the American dream, the Australian dream, or the Canadian dream, the societal dream, the two kids, the fence, the house, the mortgage, all that shit. When you decide to go on your own journey, you're going to face criticism. Of course, this is natural because people don't like people that are not in the herd, especially people that make them feel insecure. When you are accomplishing things, when you're actually getting better as a person, the people that are around you, although they might claim to love you or to be your best friends, they will feel something. It's just human nature. They will feel insecure about themselves, especially when you start becoming successful. They'll start thinking, how come he can do it or she can do it, but I can't do it? And naturally what happens, they'll resent you for that because your existence highlights their flaws, highlights their inability to produce results. So how are you going to deal with this? How are you going to deal with people that give you criticism? Some criticism is warranted. If you're doing something stupid, perhaps you're crossing the road and you're drunk and your friend says, hey, you shouldn't do that. That's warranted advice. That's good criticism because it's helping you. Or perhaps constructive criticism. Someone sees something you're doing and tells you perhaps there's a better way. And there's merit in what they're saying. That's good criticism. You should look out for that type of criticism and you should implement that advice that they're giving you. However, some other types of advice are a bit different. When you want to move cities or something and your friends are telling you, hey man, you shouldn't go there. Or you want to change your job and they're telling you, hey, I don't think you should change that job. But they're not providing you with evidence, concrete evidence to do it. That's when you turn around and you say, fuck you. You need to have courage. You need to have courage to go your own path. Because naturally the herd is going to go the other way. They're going to try and get you. By all means, they're going to try and pull you back. Perhaps you don't want to drink anymore and you go to parties. Watch and see how many of your friends are going to try and get you a drink. Perhaps you don't want to smoke. Watch and see how they're going to resent you when you don't smoke. Or perhaps instead of watching the game you rather spend a few hours reading books that are going to benefit you or going to seminars or, or training in the gym watch and, seeing how they, watch and see how they act it's just human nature have you ever been to a party and there was the one guy that was dancing perhaps he wasn't even dancing that well he was just laying loose having a good time and then you'll see people some people will be laughing some people will be clapping I guarantee those people that are laughing. Something inside them desperately wishes that they could be like that person that was dancing. Desperately wishes that they could let loose and not give a fuck about anyone else's opinion. That's the same with you when you're on this path. They're going to look at you and they're going to have that feeling. It's a feeling that makes them feel uneasy. So back to the topic. How do you deal with this criticism? Well, you deal with this criticism the same way that you deal with a dog. When you walk past a house and a dog is barking at you, do you get angry? Or do you pay it no heed? Of course you pay it no heed, you keep walking. If you have a son or a daughter that's a toddler, that's three years old or four years old and they insult you, you take it personally. 
Of course, you don't take it personally because the person who's insulting you is a kid. What what does they have nothing to say to you? It doesn't it shouldn't affect you. They don't understand your world. That's how you should approach these people that give you criticism that's unwarranted. Criticism that's not beneficial. You just don't acknowledge it. Once again, I'm not saying you shouldn't acknowledge all advice, just the advice of naysayers or people that try to put you down and bring you to their level. In the same way that a dog's barking and you don't give a fuck, that's how you're going to approach their advice. So that's the video for today, guys. Hope you got something out of it. If you'd like to give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and all that good stuff. More to come, more candid videos. Peace. Just do it!